<clears throat> and also, um, <coughs> sorry, choking here. Um, at the end of the session, we're just going to launch a quick poll. It's just a few questions. It helps us kind of know um, how the event helped you, what else we can create, you know, to support you on your e-com, uh, on your e-commerce journey. And so we'll do that at the end as well. It'll pop up. Um, so welcome and thank you so much for joining today. If you can, uh, unless internet is not um, uh, cooperating with you today, but if you can, it would be really great to turn on your cameras because this is, uh, this is really like a kind of a connecting and networking session. And so um, it's much easier to connect with a real human than uh, just a name or a photo. So if it is possible, it would be really great if you can turn on your cameras. Um, and I'm going to introduce today Ali, uh, who is co-hosting the event with me. She is from Women in Business uh, in South Africa, right, Ali? Yes. Um, Absolutely correct. Yes, exactly. So, um, Ali, so Women in Business are a partner of Ecom Connect. We have partnered together this year, and we're going to be co-hosting um, some events and just kind of uh, spending time in each other's communities. So it's going to be really great. And Ali is a master connector, I would say master networker. And we're going to be talking about, um, I see Marisa nodding like, yes, she is. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to be having a really casual conversation today around, um, you know, building a network and how to do that in a way that is um, efficient and human and also long lasting, um, because I I really believe that our, our network is our net worth in business. It, it's the people that we have, the high quality people that we have in our network um, can really make a huge impact on our journey. So we're gonna be talking about that and we're gonna be opening up you know, the room. To, like the Coffee and Connects are a very casual conversation place. So you can unmute, ask questions, post in the chat. Um, and we also just want to be here for you today to help you if there's anything you need support with, um, a connection, a resource uh, that can help you in your business right now. So um, I guess I'll introduce myself for those who don't know me. My name is Jennifer. I am the community leader for uh, Ecom Connect. Um, and if you haven't yet joined Ecom Connect, it's a wonderful community and platform where we support um, business owners with e-commerce and um, we have um, our super connectors also who are part of uh, this community who are essentially kind of like our ambassadors and they help us, you know, uh, take care of the community. They help us support our members. And Tofara who's here on my left is one of our super connectors. And also um, we have partnered with her organization Tofara Online as well this year. So it's a great place to be. Um, and I'm gonna put in the chat, the link to sign up to Ecom Connect if you're not there already, um, it's free to join. And we recently just launched two really fun things. One is a Telegram group um, that has been really great. That's managed and hosted by Tofara. And um, we have just launched a digital marketing hub within the community as well uh, that Tofara and her colleague Loveness um, lead. And it's really a space to help you guys with all kinds of digital marketing solutions. Um, so Ali, do you wanna just maybe give us a little um, intro to women in business and what you guys do before we get started? Hello, everybody. Yo, it's so nice to see. We've got Kenya, Uganda, Zimbabwe. It looks like we've got Africa here, which is really cool. So the African continent is, is well represented. And uh, Maritza, thank you for joining us. Um, one of our long-standing members of Women in Business. And um, just an FYI, Maritza was one of the um, finalists for the Mrs. South Africa. Um, and she's an incredible um, health coach. Um, but for the rest of the ladies and the gentlemen, John, thank you. John introduced us to RTC Ecom Connect. So thank you, John. Women in business. We, sure, we've been going for 16, 17 years. We started off in a little rural town in the middle of KwaZulu-Natal of South Africa called Nottingham Road because we perceived that there was a need for women to network. So women in business has evolved from an informal 
group who got together once a month into now a formalized group with a reach across um, many continents. And we still retain our original idea as to be a social networking platform for women. So what we do is we get together and we share resources, we share knowledge, we share connections. And, and through that, women are able to either improve their business or create friendships um, and, and just link with other people who possibly they wouldn't have been able to link with. And COVID has done us the, the hugest favor ever. We were able to link women from across the globe. So our global footprint in, increased astronomically over COVID because all of a sudden we had access to people that we would not have had access to before, purely because we were so focused on in-person events that we, we didn't realize the opportunities that were actually out there in a virtual space. And, and through COVID, we have grown exponentially and just linked with people that we would never have had an opportunity to link with before. So some of our guest speakers at our virtual events have been from a 16 year old young girl who, who made her, her dress for her, her levers from duct tape to people who are in, um, in huge big corporates and organizations, we've been able to link our members with the media. So yes, Women in Business is an organization that it comes from very humble roots. All of us are voluntary. None of us earn anything for what we do, but the main aim is to link people together. And um, through John, as I say earlier on, I met Jen with ITC Ecom Connect. So that in a nutshell is, is what Women in Business is about. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. We're so excited to partner with you guys this year. And uh, this is a beautiful example of how a network can be created. Um, you know, like we are experiencing it now through, you know, John being in our community, connecting us to you, and then you becoming now a connector for also other members in here. So um, it's nice to see it actually in action. Um, so I would, I would be curious before we go in and start talking about um, sort of building a network and, and all of that great stuff, who feels, um, actually, you can just share in the chat if you want, but maybe let us know if you feel good about networking and connecting or if it's stressful or heavy, whatever word, whatever word comes to mind for you. Tell us a little bit about um, how you feel in relation to creating, building a network and creating connections. And you can unmute if you want to share as well. Kafara enjoys, Mary says the best. If you wanna grow, you need to connect, absolutely. And especially now, I think we're craving it more than ever because of COVID. Um, we're just like really ready to, to come back to connecting with people. Anyone else? Do you have, um, for those of you who are just coming in, um, welcome, first of all. If you can, if it's if your internet is cooperating, it's really great if you can turn on your cameras so that we can see you and we can actually um, connect <laughs> for real. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, we have Joe from Brussels. Great. Hi, Dennis. Oh, you're muted. You can. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, well this is Dennis from Botswana. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. For Welcome. Hi, Alison. Hello. <laughs> how do you how do you feel about networking, Dennis? Do you enjoy um, it? And networking is part of my second nature. Good. Yes. Amazing. That's Amazing. why I'm attending this coffee session. I've been going through a very busy day, but I said I'm not going to miss this one tonight. So it seems to be a theme in the day today because Ali and I are also having one of those crazy days and we're like, okay, maybe there's something energetically happening in the air. Exactly. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining. Thanks. Yeah. Um, Grace has initially- Jane, asked, maybe we can ask the, the, the other question the other way around as to what scares everybody about networking? Is there something that makes you anxious about networking? Yes, good, good question. 
Yeah, I see Grace said it was initially stressful. Yeah, Grace, what did you find was initially stressful? <laughs> okay, through eConnect, I've learned to express myself better. So initially, I didn't know what to say. I know you watch your words, you don't want to say the wrong things, but I realized that you just open up and just share what you have to share and it's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so I love it. I love it. I enjoy it now. That's a really good point, Grace. And I think it's important. Um, sometimes we just need to break the ice, right? And we have this idea when we go into these kinds of sessions, and this is the intention of the coffee and connects with the community is just like a casual, relaxed place to just be and share and show up. So it doesn't have to be so um, rigid and thought through. So that's a, a good point. Yes, Mahesh, go ahead. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Very good morning to you. And hi, all. Very good morning, very good afternoon, and very good evening. Namaste to all. Myself, mm -hmm. Maheshwar. I'm a managing director for Mini Export. We are based in Hyderabad. And we help companies to source handmade products in the categories of uh, home decor, furniture, fashion, and kitchenware. All of our products are made by artisans. And I'm also co uh, super character with ITC, helping uh, entrepreneurs to uh, to upgrade their uh, uh, e-commerce knowledge and uh, and uh, helping out with various challenges with related to uh, go to market. So uh, thanks for uh, this uh, for today's topic, uh, Jenny. It's very uh, uh, very beautiful topic to, to share because uh, the, this topic is. Uh, Related to the theme of the coffee and connect. So I always believe uh, personally, uh, networking is very good thing uh, in your professional life. As an entrepreneur, you always uh, uh, need to expand your uh, network, and it makes uh, to learn so many things uh, which are related to business. As an individual, uh, you'll be uh, enhancing your knowledge with related to the people. Uh, what they are doing with related to the market, uh, uh, with which country are they located, and and also their culture. So all these things we can learn with networking only. So networking, uh, you should should not be shy to connect with uh, new people because new people uh, always have different uh, knowledge uh, to their sector and their attitude will be completely different. Uh, so so it is an opportunity what to to learn. Uh, good thing every day so i think uh, co co network uh, networking is a very uh, important and vital roles in everybody life thank you for giving me such great opportunity jenny thank you so much yes thank you for sharing Raish. and you know i think there's something in what you just said that's really important is we have to not be shy because if you think about it, we always have this idea that what we're experiencing, we're the only human being on the planet experiencing it. Nobody else is having the same thoughts as us, right? But if you're feeling nervous and stressed, the other people are probably feeling exactly the same. And so we can remember that, like, this is just going back to like a very basic concept is like the human experience is very universal. Like there's, we experience the same kinds of things and fears and emotions. So when you can remember that, like, okay, this person in front of me is probably, you know, freaking out just as much as me. You can be like, okay, well, let me just break the ice and we can, we can all relax here. <laughs> yeah. And one more thing I would like to add point over here. Yeah. Uh, networking is not professional also. It's also personal also. Here we are making, uh, uh, building our character in, uh, in opposite person mind. So yeah. this is very important. So at the end of the day, uh, we are coming here with nothing and going with here nothing. So it always uh, creates a character uh, in the opposite mind. That's it. I completely agree. I completely agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Does anyone else have anything they want to share around networking? Welcome to the people who've just arrived. We be talking about the the pros and cons of networking and what makes you uh, nervous about networking. Anybody got to, something to add? Uh, something concerning networking. Networking uh, is the most essential thing in life. So you should uh, listen to others in order to communicate and send uh, your message. This is uh, my uh, point of view. Yeah. 
I agree. I agree. Hi, Shadi. Thank you for joining us. Good. It's so exciting. We don't um, we don't often have people in here from Greece, so this is this is wonderful. Oh, okay, no, no, because uh, I update my information and my knowledge for this uh, reason. Uh, I enter uh, an e-commerce ITC group uh, in e-com, and uh, I have many things. Uh, I, so uh, when I work in social media, I update my uh, website or something. So uh, I refer uh, to you to uh, help me in order to provide a, a better service. This is via Telegram. Um, since uh, last week, I demand uh, some people help me in SEO. I don't know the methodology, how uh, to update a website or something, because okay. uh, I want to revamp uh, something. This is. Okay. Have you posted it uh, in Ecom Connect on the community live feed? Uh, not in live feed, in uh, digital marketing hub. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So maybe Tofara can um, take a look at that. Yes, we have a small group, uh, 20 or 30 person. This is for this reason, nobody react. This yeah. Is... Yeah, so so Tofara, who's in the room here, um, she's the the master of the group. So um, oh, okay. take yes, a look. Uh, We've just, when, just opened the group. So it, people yes. are coming in. Yeah. It's the end of this conversation and uh, via Telegram, uh, she helped me. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, great, great. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Good. Uh, I see. Okay. Oh, I see. Hand. We've got yeah. a hand up. Go ahead. You can unmute. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for this uh, precious opportunity. Uh, as for me, uh, yes, I used to be a bit nervous uh, during my first days of networking, but now I no longer have challenges in terms of networking because I have come to realize that um, in a community or a circle of networking, you have a common ground, the wish and the desire to network. So mm -hmm. no matter how small your vision, mm -hmm. um, you are not likely to be judged or underestimated. So I appreciate networking so much and it enhances one's growth in their path or in the direction which they are taking. So I appreciate networking. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thanks, there's, um, there's a quote that I really love um, and I come back to it every once in a while when, I, when I'm like worried about like what the, a person in front of me is thinking or, and it's uh, the quote says, what other people think of you is none of your business. And I love it because really, really, at the end of the day, our only job is to just show up and we can't control the brains. It's hard enough to control our own brains since we can't control the, the thoughts of everybody else. So yeah, that's really yeah. great. Absolutely. Yeah. Ali, do you want to, um, should we walk through the, the slide and, and the thoughts that you wanted to share on it with me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That would be great. So if you give me two seconds. All right. Can let me know if you are able to see the screen. Yes, we can see it. Great. Okay. Oh, now hold on a second. Um, I just need to stop for a second because I've got the wrong slide up. Hold on a second. Okay. All right. No. No, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Hold on two seconds. The joys of of technology. Okay. I was so I was, can everybody see can everybody see the screen? No, now you stopped sharing. But we were oh, dear. We were oh, seeing dear. right now, I think. Oh dear. Hold on a sec. Something <laughs> is definitely not not working today. It's obviously all these meetings, too many meetings. Yeah, I'm getting uh, tired. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's try again. Right, you should there be able go. to see now. Yes, we see it great. Okay, all right. 
So as, as we've heard from everybody who's, who's um, participated in the conversation that networking is basically the magic that makes your business. You are able to advertise, you can pay phenomenal amounts of money for websites. None of that will work if your networking is not working. So your network is what connects everything. It'll connect your websites. It'll connect your social media. And networking is based on relationships. In a world where everything is now online, relationships have become even more important. And the boundaries of the world have got smaller. Whereas in the past, you used to have to fly to conferences, fly to events, book hotels, and, and meet strangers in, in a room that you'd never met before. Now, all that takes place in an instant online. So networking and relationship building, that magic has come so much closer to home. And you've got to work that magic because if you don't work that magic, it's not going to happen for you. And so many people will say, well, you know, I, I tried and I came on and I joined and, and nothing happened. Networking is something that will not happen unless you make that magic happen. So, for instance, your, your pitch, you know, we all talk about the elevator pitch and the 30 second pitch. It's all very well to have that. But what is that pitch that you're doing? Is it for a personal reason? So is it because you, you're in sport and, and you like a particular sport or like, for instance, Maritza is, is, is very involved in health or um, Lucretia, I know, does a lot of arts and crafts. Is the pitch that you are working your network, is it to do with something personal and in person? In other words, you meeting people in a physical place or is it online? You need to determine that network because the way in which you network with a person face to face is very different to how you would network with a person online. So, for example, I have know very few people on this call tonight. I've got my camera on. I've got my logo behind me. That is the start of your networking because people will remember what they see and and when you have your camera on, people can actually see the human being. So I encourage you, if you've got your connectivity is strong enough, I encourage you to put your camera on because people will remember you from your face. And, and the other thing is do something when you're sitting in front of the camera that will make people remember you. So at the end of this call, if I had to ask you to describe me, you would probably all say, oh, it's the lady with the color in her hair which is quite sad because you want to present a personality, not necessarily something that is physical, but the physical attributes is what will make people remember you, especially in an online space. Even in an in-person space, being slightly different or having something that people will remember you by is definitely going to get you in the door. In the old days, we all used to have little business cards and you'd hand out the business cards and you get home and you've got a pocket full of business cards what happened to those business cards they all ended up in a drawer so don't fall into that trap of where oh no no, no i gave somebody my contact details on the chat group uh -uh. have something to say talk to people be very clear in your mind is this an online event like we are now or is it in a face-to-face -face? and if it's in a face-to-face -face environment very different so as we said, look at it and, and, and your networking also distinguish between your business network and your personal network. So in your personal capacity, you, you might be a mom, you might be a dad, you, you might like, as I say earlier on, you like, might like sport and, and you build that network of your personal side. But what are we here for tonight? We are here for tonight is to business, to build your business network. And you might make a connection with somebody who has absolutely nothing to do with the business that you do. But that person might lead you onto somebody else who will lead you. Oh, sorry. What have I done now? That person might lead you to somebody else. So never discredit anybody that you meet. Because you never know who that person will lead you on to. 
any any questions or any comments on 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 what I've said about in person business network personal network. I'd like to add something, Ali. I really love what you <laughs> shared here. Um, when I when I see like the magic in the palm of your hand, like you know how networking is is creating magic. What I would add to that is that happens by you letting your magic come out. Like, mm-hmm. let us see the unique, incredible human being that you are. Don't don't hold that back because of an idea of how you are supposed to show up or and be professional or whatever. Um, and I want to give an example, actually, of this that I think is a wonderful example. So Maheshwar, who's in the room right now with us, one of our super connectors, one of his ways of, of sharing his magic is he, we have a WhatsApp group, for example, in our, for the super connectors. And like almost every day or several times a week, he just pops a beautiful inspirational quote in the chat. And Like this is, and we can see that this is an extension of his personality, how he views the world, his values, how he sees things. And we're getting to know him through the actions he's taking by letting his magic come out. Um, So sorry, Maishra, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I just think that it's such a good example of how you can let your magic come out into the world. And then, and then like Ali says, people remember you. Like, oh yeah, he's the guy who shares those amazing quotes every day in our WhatsApp group, you know? Um, so I wanted to share that. And the other thing that I wanted to share was, um, oh, one of the things that has worked for me incredibly well is to be the connector. It, it, instead of just sitting and waiting, like Ali was talking about, be the one who connects someone to somebody else. People remember you. And then you, they will have you in the back of your of their mind when it's time for them to connect you to somebody that you need. So that's just what I wanted to add here. Correct. Yeah, correct. And quite often you'll meet somebody on a, on an event like this, maybe, and you might not link them with anybody for a good couple of months, and then something will happen in a conversation, and you'll go, "I met." somebody on a call or on a webinar hold on a second I'll find the contact details so even months later the effect of a conversation tonight can lead to a networking event or a linkage anybody else got any comments anything you'd like to share with us that happened yes Dennis yes um good evening once again everybody um Earlier on, I said um, networking is part of my second nature. Uh, by that, I was referring to the type of work that I do. I'm a consultant, business development consultant, and I work very closely with the UNCTAD. Um, I propagate a, a program called Ampratech. And here we teach competencies of successful entrepreneurs. And one of the, the, the competencies that we, we have on is networking, because it leads to people creating business to business and conversations. And, um, and that's one thing that I, I found that it's really needed in the world. And I had a good experience in 2018, I had to to uh, a training in Tanzania um, where I was developing guys with the capacity to do international trade. In fact, it was a part sponsored by the International Trade Center, which I'm quite affiliated with. And you know, the networking that we created there was so powerful. Right now, um, after the training, they created a WhatsApp group Mostly they speak Swahili, so they are comfortable in communicating in their own language. And they are sending me information and WhatsApp messages sometimes in their own language. And I don't turn around and say, I don't understand. I always run to a friend of mine to say, what are they saying? And you know, I, I managed to get feedback on what the, the conversation is about. So networking is a really powerful tool that we need to use get accustomed to and and really like it. And uh, like tonight I've had the opportunity to meet uh, 
Alison, Women in Business. I'm going to be talking to you a lot because um, <laughs> part of yes, I've just got an assignment from um, from Anchored, the Business Development Unit. They want me to 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 go and do uh, a training on enterprise development for women in cross border trade. And uh, th this is one area that I'm not very very familiar with cross cross border trade. So I'm going to be talking to the likes of who not specifically on cross-border uh, trade, but on your quick wins when it comes to getting women to work together. Because we are going to, I'm actually having to, to get them to really work together and communicate such that the teachings that I'm going to be giving them would actually be shared. And we will also have to have testimonies of the impact of the training as to what is it that has actually happened post the, the, the training. So okay. networking is one of the things that I really appreciate and I would like to encourage everybody to be part of. And also uh, after tonight, I would like to be added onto your, 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 your WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. Thanks for the cool. opportunity. Thank you, share. Dennis. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for your kind words. And um, Lucretia, you've got your hand up. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, Dennis, um, I think you and I definitely need to connect because I'm a woman in cross-border trade and this is my fifth year of doing cross-border trade. So hopefully we can just quickly on the side introduce ourselves to each other and connect. Um, on a completely separate note, one of the things I think that many of us and especially the, the, the newcomers to networking um, have, you know, networking can be a real fear for many. And I recall many, many years ago when I first started in industry and um, in my career in media, that was, that was a huge struggle for me because I am an introvert by nature. And um, Ali might not, uh, might not agree with me, but I'm, I'm someone that really struggles with speaking in public or just speaking in general. And it's taken me many, many years to get to where I am and to be able to have had overcome this fear of networking. And you know, just, just a few quick things that I tend to do before I go into a networking function or any uh, opportunity to network like this one is I ask myself, the very first thing I ask myself is what is the worst that can happen? Mm -hmm. And I quickly go through these in my mind and then um, manage the risk in my head in terms of simple things like, what if I ask the wrong questions? And then I tell myself, so what if I ask the wrong questions? I'm in the right room and the right people will come forward and they will give me the right answers. So that is, you know, one solution. And uh, I just often find that um, the more you tend to do of these networking functions, the more you put the fear of speaking out loud and just expressing yourself and introducing yourself and introducing your business aside, uh, sorry, the more you tend to do this, the more mm -hmm. often you network, um, the more opportunities you take to network, the easier it becomes as you go along. And before you know it, it just becomes second nature to you and you can do it very quickly and you don't need to stress about it. And, you know, sometimes we're in a situation where we, we speaking and we suddenly realize, oh dear, what am I saying? Am I saying the right thing? Are the people going to respond to me correctly? Um, are they even responding to me or are they just being polite by just listening to what I have to say? And that's okay too, because that is how you're going to learn and how you're going to learn about how you react to people in a networking situation. So, you know, um, just some quick things that I have a tendency to do is uh, from the very beginning, I used to practice in the mirror. Uh, it's a very simple thing, but you know, I'd look at myself in the mirror and pretend I was someone else and have a conversation with myself, which seemed totally nuts to my kids sometimes, but it's how I started and it's how I got myself to start networking easily and comfortably. And now I can stand in front of a room and speak to hundreds of people in, you know, in an ad hoc situation and um, I'm good to go at all times. So just, you know, a few pointers from my side. Cool. Thank you, Lucretia. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sharing. Yeah, I agree with everything you said. Absolutely. Okay. So let's just start about how how your networking works and, and the kind of pointers that have 
have worked for us in women in business and and I've seen a lot of people who who have expanded their, their own networking through just five simple little pointers which I'd like to share with you tonight. Ask questions. People love to talk about themselves. And, and if you listen carefully, you will pick up a number of indicators as to what is going on in their lives and what could possibly link you with them or where you could say to them, I heard you talk about the fact that you have a cross-border contract like Dennis mentioned earlier on. Maybe there's somebody on the call tonight and, and you think, you know what, there's, there's an ideal person that I used or I know or I met and you link them with Dennis. And that person might not even be on the call. But that is what you as, as, a, as a networking person can do because by you linking somebody else, they will remember. And then should they need your service or they can refer you on. So the big thing is to ask questions. Find out the, about the people that are in the room. So for those of you who've shared your contact details on the, on the chat and you, you've interacted with us, you've got your cameras on or, you know, that, that you, you're here tonight, you are hearing conversations that you wouldn't have heard before. So ask those questions of people. Who are you? What do you do? Why do you do it? You know, and how did you start? Quite often people get into something completely by accident. And, and it, it's an interesting story. So ask, ask the question, and I'm asking you now to please share with us what you do, how you do it, why you do it, because that is the only way we can find out about you and include you in our network and you include us in your network. Get to know people who have a similar business as you. And, and you know, quite often people say to me, oh, but they're in competition and oh no I can't talk to them because they're going to steal all my clients uh, no the closer you are to people who do something similar to you the better because you know what they're up to you, you've obviously heard that that saying before keep your your friends close but keep your enemies closer and it's a similar sort of situation not that I'm saying that similar businesses are your enemies but Network with people who do something similar to you because they might have strengths that you don't have or you might have strengths that they don't have and then you can work together. So for instance, let's, let's just take a random catering organization. You get yourself into a situation where you get a contract where there's a, you've got a huge cater, um, catering contract. You might not necessarily have the necessary plates, knives, forks, tables, chairs, and you need to hire from somebody else. If you know somebody and you've built a relationship with another business who does something similar with you, you could then hire from them. So make friends, become work into a relationship with people who have a similar business to you because you never know when you can share resources, you can share knowledge. And, and sometimes when you've got a situation like we've just come through the most awful two years, we didn't know all the answers. It's also nice to have somebody to bounce ideas off. What, what do you think about this? And how are you going to, and you know what, if they're going to steal your ideas, so be it, be better than them, because you've now got that idea, you can build on that idea. So don't be scared of sharing ideas, because quite often, you are able to use those ideas to do something better. Now, unfortunately, my slides are now hidden by, by this um, bar at the bottom. But anyway, so also, it not only get to know similar businesses, but get to know the people that you might need. I mean, I've met Jen, and, and we as an organization, we need Ecom Connect, because what does women in business want to do? We want to increase our footprint. And the only way we're going, to, we're going to do that is by meeting with other people and, yes, using one another, but using one another in a reciprocal nature. So Ecom Connect has access via us, women in business, to our network, and our network has access to Ecom Connect's network. And if somebody somewhere along the line can improve their business or make connections, what a pleasure. What an absolute pleasure. So don't ever be scared to show and work and, and express ideas. Any comments on that? 
Anybody frightened of their competition? Anybody frightened of sharing ideas? Ali, I just want to say that um, I know you see the Zoom bar at the bottom, but we don't, so we can oh, okay. see. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. I think okay, Amal cool. wants to share something. All right, cool. Amal? Well, yeah, uh, uh, thank you very much for this advice, Alison. I think that you, you, you are the wiser person to tell that people have just to to, to, to connect with the person who are similar than them. We, we found a lot of things that, yeah, definitely this is something that we, we, we have fear of facing this. If someone is, for example, financial like me, I would just like to turn around and just not to talk to him because I'm, I'm just like afraid, just like have this fear to, to, to be in competition with him. But actually I had a, a, a great, a great, great experience with a person who became a friend of mine and uh, with whom we are just like uh, uh, doing great things and incredible things. Uh, he is actually in the same field than me. And um, the, first of all, we connect with each other, not like uh, these events. We were not like to just to saying to each other, let's connect. We're just like in an operative with friends and sometimes the connection and the conversation comes and and uh, yeah, he knows a little bit about me and I know a little bit about him. And it took times just to decide to, to work together. And when we did, we we just like thinking why we didn't, uh, we didn't do this. But I, I think that connecting with similar people is good, but yeah, uh, we have to add some similar affinities. I think that we, we, uh, we're still human at the end and we need this kind of, of uh, enjoying time with working with some people. So yes, thank you for, for just popping it uh, up, uh, this, this incredible idea that we definitely have to, to take advantage more deeply. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Amal. Thank you very much. John, you have your hand up. You need to unmute, John. John, you need to unmute. We can't hear you. John, we can't hear you. Hang on. I'm, but there's some seems to be something wrong with this because I'm at, I'm clicking on ask to unmute and it's not it's not working. No, yeah, and no, I'm doing the same as well. That's strange. Huh. Yeah, John, we can't hear you. Um, can you and maybe ah, there we go. There we go. No. No, no, it's gone back. John, please unmute yourself. Yeah, uh, try again. Yeah, there we, there we go. There we go. Yay. My apologies. I'm in South Africa at the moment, and I just got a call from Switzerland from the next door neighbor, and I needed to answer it because I didn't know if there was a problem with our house in Switzerland. So my apologies for not answering straight away. Um, I just wanted to, 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 to mention for those, uh, Ecom Connect has been very powerful from a networking point of view for, for myself. I just put a list down. There's six different people that I've spoken to afterwards. Last week, Maheshwa and I had a, had a long talk. I'm talking with Eric in Singapore next week. Ali's on the list to be talking to soon because Tony is now back from Cape Town. Uh, MJ in Cape Town is now looking at helping us create a chapter in Cape Town. These are all people that I met after after the show just saw who was there and we connected through through uh, just whatsapping each other or, or, or calling each other so the power of, of this and i just wanted to add something because i know we're running out of time i don't want to hog it is that i just really enjoy listening to other people when i hear stories about flowers in the ganges and women's dresses in, in, in Ecuador or something and the situations and how they solve their problem. You know how sort of brain enjoyment that is and, and you just learn so much and it's really powerful. Anyway, I just thought I'd 
add that. And sorry I didn't come in so quickly because I got a problem. No problem at all. Thank you, John, for sharing that. I'm so glad you're in South Africa. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to that. I, Tony came back and, and we had uh, meetings today and you're on the list from a networking point of view as well. Okay. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. That's great. Thank you so much, John. Um, yeah, just to, to finish off, because yeah, we are running uh, short of time. One of the big things with networking is being polite. And it, it doesn't mean um, just in a conversation. It, it's your online personality. It's your emails. When you send an email, it, you know, the, the, the worst thing that can happen is when you get an email and it says, we hope this email finds you well. Um, no, I'm sick. My liver is lumpy. My, my head is sore. Please don't start an email when you are trying to develop a relationship by saying, hope this email finds you well. You know what, an email in a business sense is like in the old days when we used to write a, a, a letter and put it in the post. You have a salutation, you have a subject line, you have your paragraphs, get to the point. It's, you know, a personal email is completely different. But remember in your sentence construction, have full stops and commas. There's, you know, when you're trying to make an impression on someone, like I said earlier on, you know, have your logo be different and be that person that people say, oh, wow, that was such a cool email or that was such a nice post and that was an interesting conversation or that quote was really cool. So be polite, be respectful and remember to always say thank you. Those two words are, are incredibly powerful. And after you've met somebody, just, you know, whether it's in person or online and you want to connect it with them, just be saying thankful. It was so nice to, to meet you. Um, and, and, you know, it, again, the internet has opened up a whole different culture of, of ways of, of interacting with people. And the, bi the big thing is being polite. And, and <laughs> promote others, not yourself. How often have you gone into a conversation with somebody and they have just spoken at you? This is what I do. This is what I can do. This is how fantastic I am. This is me and I and I and I. And after a few minutes, you just go, oh, please help me. Can somebody rescue me? <laughs> and I'm sure you've all been in a situation like that. Don't be that person. Ask people about themselves. Who are you? What do you do? And, and when you're in an environment like this, don't be afraid to promote yourself by putting in your contact details and introducing yourself and ask a question, offer something of yourself. So like John offered off, um, some personal information where he said, um, I got a phone call and I thought it was about my house in Switzerland, but I'm in South Africa now. That is really cool, useful information because that opens a conversation for you. Ah, John, what are you doing in South Africa? And, oh, yeah, you know, you know, your house in Switzerland, where is it? It's a conversation opener. You can ask questions. So going back right to the beginning, listen. And the, the big thing is that you as, as, a, as a person, um, sorry, I clicked on everything now, so I'm going to stop sharing. But you as a person, you are interesting. You have something really cool to offer. But listen to what the other person's saying, use it as a conversation opener, and then you can start working on that relationship. And it's all about personal relationships. So thank you for, for allowing me to have my say. And now it's again over to you. I would like to hear about you. And please, in the chat group, as Jen said, introduce yourself and, and really just work, work the network that you've got. Because remember, it's the little things that matter. It, it's not the big things. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It's how you make a person feel in the room with you. Thank you, Jen. Thank yeah. you, everybody. Thank you, Ali. That was really wonderful. And I just posted in the chat something that I heard in a training I was doing not long ago um, around networking and essentially what you're saying, but be the most interested person in the room, not the most interesting Um and yeah, I think asking questions is, is really the best way to um, open the door and create relationships with people. So I would definitely encourage you guys after this session, 
you know, to the people who you felt connected to today, or you want to learn more, like everyone. Well, so if you haven't already put your LinkedIn link profile link in the chat and like, just go and, and, you know, can reach out to someone here and ask them more about who they are and what they do. Absolutely. That gets the flow going. Yeah. I'd just like to ask a, a question because that's what it's about. Is there anybody here who can share with us a really successful networking introduction that they had? Give us an example of a really successful one that you've had. Lucretia, go ahead. So about eight years ago, I think it was eight or nine years ago, I was at a networking session and um, I uh, sat at the same table as a man who owned a company called, um, it was a coaching company of some, uh, uh, back then. In any case, we spent the entire day at this conference and we got to know each other quite well in each other's businesses um, as the day progressed. We exchanged details and never to be heard from again. I would get the odd message every now and again where he'd say, hi, how are you doing? Where are you at with business and so forth? But at the time, I was still... Um, following my career path and I wasn't, I did not have my own business. So fast forward to um, today and I got a call from this gentleman who asked me, um, who said to me that he had been following my profile on LinkedIn and he had been keeping abreast of what I was doing on Facebook, et cetera. And would I be interested in an upcycling project? Because that is the gist of my business. We upcycle and recycle um, products in order to make um, crafts and arts, which we export internationally. So he said to me, um, I have been keeping abreast of what you've been doing and I'd be very keen to work with you. So if you are available, can we perhaps set up a meeting on Thursday? I'd like to show you what products we have, what we need to have upcycled. And if you can come in with some ideas for us and then perhaps we've got quite a big project that we can work on going forward so yay we're pretty excited about that and that comes from eight years ago and who would have thought that I had made such an impact on someone sitting at the same table as him at a coaching session yes do not underestimate the impact that you are having on people that is such a good point Lucretia I yeah. have learned this lesson over and over and over again. I've been in business for 12 years and people pop into my inbox often to say, I've been following your work for five years, six years on Facebook. And because of that, I've just done X, Y, Z because of that. I've just launched my business because of that. And I'm like, I had no clue that this person was at all paying attention to what I was doing. And so we, yeah, this is just a really, really good point. Thank you for sharing that. Any other stories before we tie things up? And I think that uh, I'd like just to add a point. Yeah. We are lucky men and women to just exist in this area where we can have just connection, virtual connection. I think that this is easy. This is really easy when you are in a room like this. It's not like in a physical room. In a physical room, you have your glass and you are turning, turning around and sometimes you are shy, like Krisha said, you are introvert, you would like and you would not like just to go and to say hello to strange people. But here, we, we, we have another process that happens and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for the person who had uh, organized this event, but there, there are a lot of uh, incredible people that are doing this. And in parallel, I'm just looking for a parallel for this. Sometimes when I have, uh, when I find a person who is interested for my, my the opportunity that I'm working for, I'm just uh, linked in it and uh, people accepted your invitation and you enter in connection without, without really knowing each other, you start a business, a partnership. And for this, I'm saying that we are lucky <laughs> and I'm grateful for having internet to make it easy for me, the connection. <laughs> 
Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. And, and by the way, um, actually, before I go there, I'm just going to launch the poll quickly. If you guys can just answer the couple of questions while we're um, ending, that would be really wonderful. Um, so we are going to, the recording of this is going to be in Ecom Connect after the event. Um, and I'm going to also attach the chat transcript to the event in Ecom Connect. So you can go back and, and capture anything that has been shared in, in the chat as well. Um, and just to show you guys quickly um, how we do this is um, we always share it a few days after on the on the Ecom Connect wall. I was just joining your group, Ali. Um, so a few days after on the Ecom Connect live feed, we always share you know, the link to recording and everything. But if you go to events within the community and you go to past events, you're going to see, you know, for example, the Coffee and Connect once we're finished. And if you go into the event, um, anything that is an attachment, you'll see here on the right-hand side. And at the bottom, we always share the recording as well. So um, know that you can, you know, you can go and, and get all of this after the event. Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think we're at the hour, so we're going to um, slowly tie things up. I just want to thank Ali again for joining us. It was really, really great to have you. Super valuable session. And uh, Ali has popped the link um, in the chat to join the Women in Business Telegram group as well. So make sure to, to go in there and join them. And um, we will be hosting a networking event with Ali in September as well. Yeah. Um, so there'll be lots more to, to learn with Lots her. of exciting things happening. Lots of exciting things happening. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And thank you to everyone for joining us. Um, it was really great having you. Jen, can I just yes. ask? Yes, go ahead. There's just very quickly, the um, Ongtad, um digital sessions on all week and e e um, Econ Connect have advertised three sessions over the next three days. Are you involved in that? And is there anything you'd like to add to that sessions? I am not personally involved in that. Um, it's Christina and uh, Elvira who are, who are taking care of that, but um, I will say that the information has been shared in both our Telegram group and um, within the platform. If people want to go learn more, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Wonderful. That's awesome. We'll have a great really to meet everybody from around the world, and and yeah, good morning, good evening, and good <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> It was really nice meeting you all, and um, we look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a really good end of day. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you.